Hi, my name is Chris Cousins and I'm a personal watercraft instructor. I'm going to talk you through launching your PwC. Before you set off to the slipway, it's really important to do your research. For example, where can I launch? Am I allowed to launch at that particular slipway? Are there any tidal considerations for that slipway? Are there any fees to launch? And sometimes you may also need to pay a fee in order to uh, be out in the harbour that you're uh, operating in. Other things to research in advance is where am I able to park my car and trailer? And do I need to pay for that? What's the slipway made of? What's its construction? Uh, and what's the state of the slipway? It might be very slippy, for example, uh, and might need a 4x4. It's really important to consider slipway etiquette. When you arrive at the slipway, make sure you don't park your car and trailer right in front of the slipway. For example, choose an area just to the side of it in order to prepare your ski and remove the lines before then attempting to reverse down it. It's also worth practicing with your trailer and car connected together before arriving at the slipway to avoid embarrassment. Once you've arrived at the slipway, you need to allow your trailer time to cool down. Hot wheel bearings dipped into cold salt water is really bad for the trailer and could enable it to fail. You also need to ensure you've put the bungs in, nothing worse than sinking once you've launched it. Slipways can be really, really busy places. Make sure you've got all your gear stowed away inside your personal watercraft and you've got the trailer ready to go before you get to the point you put the trailer next to the slipway. This enables other water users to still access the slipway whilst you're preparing. So once you've arrived at the slipway, the first thing you need to do is take off the light board and stow it away in your car. Once you've done that, remove the back ratchet straps securing the PWC to the trailer. When ready to launch, reverse the PWC next to the slipway so it's ready to be launched down the ramp. Place a rope between the trailer and the tow bar, preventing the need to reverse the car all the way down the ramp, dipping your car into the salt water. If you're with the PWC, you can help guide it down the ramp as the driver reverses the car. Once at the bottom, release the ratchet strap. This will enable the ski to float off. You may need to apply a little pressure to help this along. If you need to help the driver recover the trailer, you can anchor your PWC whilst you go and help them. The driver can pull the trailer back up the slipway and park in a designated area. Some areas have a speed limit just off the launching area. We'd always advise you leave and return at a safe speed to take into consideration other water users. So what do I mean by a safe speed? That would depend on many factors, such as the wind, weather, tide, your personal riding ability, and perhaps even visibility. Finally, you might want to consider taking a one-day RYA personal watercraft proficiency course in order to learn new skills or perhaps improve existing ones.